Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lemmings World Tour. So, once again, off camera, I finally solved the dreaded Legend Level 7 Lemming Rad. And guess what? I freaking had the right solution the entire time, you just have to spend hours fiddling with it until it finally works. So, thankfully I have a replay of this, Legend 7. So I'll just show you all what I did. Oh yeah, I also... T I turned off the music because I was solving it off camera and it was being distracting. So the first thing I did is I sent a climber up the top. Had him go down here, and okay. It's just, just so you all can see this. Because this is ridiculously precise. He lands on this part, as soon as he takes a step onto this very exact pixel, you need to start digging, and you need to dig for a very precise amount of pixels. Right, so you're at ground level with that pixel, so I guess that one's not as precise, but it, the, every thing, every part of this solution has to be pixel perfect, or else it won't work. So now you, we build two bridges here. Literally pixel perfect in every way. And the reason you need to build from that exact point horizontally is so that way you'll start building into the wall. If you don't put that last tile right at the wall, this will not work. And if you're even one pixel back, you won't build that close. You will stop too early and you won't be able to go further. Now we are going to send a athlete up here. The athlete can glide along this updraft. Glide along here. Climb up here, glide, climb up this bar, and turn around. Now you're going to glide and glide down here, and then they're going to glide down here. They're going to climb, and then as soon as they touch the ground from this, they're going to build. And that's our last builder. These bridges have to be placed in a pixel-perfect precise way, or this will not work. So you turn around, climb up there, and again, it has you have to build as soon as they touch the ground. If it's even one pixel too far forward, it will not work. Now we're going to send another athlete up here. And yes, this does have well, this doesn't have to be super precise, but you do need a second lemming to climb up it around this part. Now, as he starts climbing up the wall here, you need to bomb him at exactly this point in the wall, or else it will not work. Are you noticing a pattern? And are you seeing how ridiculously frustrating this is to figure out? So now this lemming comes up here, climbs up the bar, turns around, and then as soon as he gets to this exact pixel in the tunnel, which is at the very end, then you start mining. He will mine through this area, so that lemmings who get up here will be able to walk up through this. He will mine through the one-way down arrows, and you need to have set everything up exactly perfectly to the exact pixel in every single way, or it will not work. He will mine for these bridges. If this bridge here is even one pixel too far to the right, there will be a one pixel wide gap here, and they will fall through. Even if it looks solid, they will fall through, and you will not be able to get them up. He will mine for this wall and start mining for this bridge. And again, if you put this bridge in even one pixel a different spot, he will mine through the bottom, and they will not go, and they will fall through. Also, if you do not have the builder start building from this exact pixel vertically, then the miner will not free them all with his miner. As you can see, this still looks solid, but there is one pixel that they can squeeze through. So now they all climb up here, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start bashing through the bars. And then we dig at this exact pixel, so that way they go down here. and they'll be able to survive, and all of the lemmings who did not make it in this tunnel will fall down here, hit this one pixel on the bar, which will stop them from splatting, and they'll go into the exit. We don't use the last climber, and we don't use the stoner, and thank goodness for that, because this climber right here is going to splat, and there's no way to save him. Thankfully, we're allowed to lose another lemming, because we didn't use the stoner. And then the rest of the lemmings can go to the exit. Yeah. That's the level. The general solution of put, making the Lone Builder Bridge and mining through it all, I had that, I figured that out, like, immediately, and then literally spent five hours 
fiddling with everything, trying other things, until the, only to find out that my initial solution was right, and it was just unfairly precise to a ridiculously absurd degree. Maybe that was not even the intended way of solving it, because I didn't use the last climber, and I didn't use the stoner, and the stoner seems like it might play a role, but trust me, I spent hours trying every possible solution, and most of them either just didn't work, and most of the ones that seemed viable failed by one effing pixel. I hate that level. That level is awful. That level has no reason being as precise as it is. There's no reason for the level to be that precise, but it is. And I don't even think that Strata, who made the level, intended it to be that precise. But holy cow, like, a thousand different solutions I tried failed because of one freaking pixel. Terrible level. You need to fix that, Strato. You need to fix that. I don't... You can keep that solution. Just make it less unfair. Like, everything is ordered in such a way that it just happens to not work. But it doesn't seem like it's intentional in that regard. I think it's literally just accidentally, stupidly precise. So, yeah, I hate that level. I never want to play it again. Sorry, Strato, but not all of them can be winners. You know, you've had so many amazing levels in this pack... There's got to be a couple of really bad ones, and hopefully that's the last bad level I encounter. Now we can move on to level 8, Master of Puppets by Metallica. 40 lemons, we can kill one. Ooh, we get this nice little, uh, like, playhouse tile set. I think this is a Lix tile set, actually. And we got two different hatches and some symbol monkeys. Cool. <laughs> Unlimited time. 20 climbers. All right, am I to assume that all of these lemons here are going to climb up? That seems pretty normal. <laughs> oh, the symbol monkeys aren't solid. They are traps. I see. Well, that does change things, doesn't it? Oh, that's a locked exit, and there's a button here. Interesting. Well... Hmm. Well, right off the bat, I can mine these guys out. I could also potentially... Actually, I might be able to just hit this with a, a single digger. I literally might just be able to send a digger right at the beginning. He can dig all the way down, hit the button, and then the rest of them can just go this way. I could even build to seal them in that digger hole. That's definitely possible. Now... So that's kind of what I'm thinking. How about this side? Well, step one. Okay, how fast does this symbol monkey go? Wait, <laughs> what was that? That's kind of creepy. Alright. Alternatively, we could do a... Hmm. Here's a question. If we stack at the very edge here, one lemming goes over it, and they escape the symbol monkey. Okay! Now that's interesting. Now how about we send a climber? And then maybe we can build over the symbol monkey. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Now maybe we stack here. Uh-oh. He dies. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, wait. Much much better way is to just dig and build. Or alternatively, we could stack again. All right. I'm trying to... F hmm. Getting them all up here could also be a, a little... Tricky, couldn't it? Because uh, presumably this is the side we need to make all, them all climbers for. Like no, no doubt to that. Eh? <laughs> oh. Hmm. I'm just securing. It occurred to me we can dig all the way down here and then potentially build, and then they can just climb right up. And then if we mine here, okay. Alright, I think I'm starting to see it a little bit. So we'll need a digger there and a digger there. 
And we can have one digger to spare. Hey, that rhymed. Alright, I'm assuming... We can literally use the basher or the miner or the fencer on this side in accordance with the digger. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. So this gives us some flexibility on this side. What would be most useful? Probably not the fencer. If we go up here. We could, uh, we could probably bash through all of that. Then dig. Well... Hmm. Alternatively... We have almost unlimited builders. I'm saying that because it's a joke, by the way. I don't actually believe that, but... We have ten builders, and there's not a whole lot of places where we need builders. The only one I really see is we're going to need, like, three or four to get across there. So we could use some builders to get on top of here. Here. How many builders would it take to get past that toy soldier? Two? Two. Okay. Now here's a question. You climb up here. Okay, that does turn you around. That's a bit of a shame. The sim There's also another symbol monkey up there, which I am not a fan of. Hmm. So it would take three builders to get up there. We would need probably another to get past the stupid symbol monkey. Hmm. Interesting. Because another thing we could do, we can use two stackers to hold these lemmings back. Because I don't see a whole lot of use for these two stackers. Okay! I like that. There we go. And now we can just have them all climb up over that stack. Problem solved. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Now here's the question. Doggone it, that still stops him. Well, if we go this way, we can only... I think we only need two builders to get across here. Yeah! Is that splat height? No, it's not. Excellent. Alright, so they're trapped in on this side now. And we can still kill a lemming! Oh, this is fantastic! I love that! Ooh! Here's... okay. <laughs> gonna build from there. And... I'm gonna build from here. <laughs> They should seal the bridges together. And here we go. There we go, there we go. All right. Okay, I like this, I like this. Okay, um, so I can do that. There we go. Alright, you're gonna dig until you reach that button. That opens up the door, and we see a dinosaur. He was chasing Ernie. Alright. Oh, crap. Uh... That doesn't cut for the bridge! Oh! Frabjous day, Kalukale. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. He's facing that way. Oh, sweet! Yes! And now we can fence him out. 
<laughs> so he's going to be the guy who dies. You can't get back to the beginning, but that's okay, because everyone will be able to climb up through here. <laughs> All right. Congratulations on breaking through. You can bash your way out of there. Honestly, I feel like we might even be able to potentially save that guy. Through some means. I'm not going to try, because that's that's a level solved, and I'm going to take any level solve I can get. Okay, that level was significantly more enjoyable than the last one. I actually really liked that one. That was very fun. I like the tile set, and I like the solution. Not sure if it was exactly as intended, but you, we take those. We take any solution we can get in the final difficulty of Lemmings World Doer. Actually, any Lemmings pack, to be, for that matter. Why well, final rank is supposed to be difficult. Level 9, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. 60 lemmings, we can kill 5 of them. We got a beach tile set level mixed with the rock tile set. And some kitties! Eye of the Tiger. Well, domesticated cats are in the same family as tigers, so... They're not... Maybe they're not so different after all. Alright. Oh, no, no climber! But how am I going to send a lemming up to go ahead? Alright. Let's get the music pumping first. Alright. Well, it's almost one of everything, but we got four builders, and thank, thank goodness for that. Alright. Well, we're gonna need two builders to get across there, one to get up. Unless we do a digger plus a um, basher. They'll be able to walk up through all of that. We might have to do a Dolly Dimple situation where we build and then dig here. So we're going to need the digger for that part. Alright, so if that's the case, then that's three of our builders gone. Or no, all, that's all four of our builders gone. Do, 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 do. That's got a little cat. That cat's going to be difficult to get past. That little cat. Oh man, that cat's a brat. I don't like that little cat right there. Okay, what's the glider useful for? How far can that glider go? Okay. So we can do that and send a single lemming to go ahead. No, I didn't want to rewind. Whoops, okay. All that steel is going to make this a little bit difficult. Oh! But I see we can potentially... ...bash through here at the end. That might be possible, maybe? Question mark? So, like, if we dig there... Oh man, he just dies. What a lamer. How dumb of him. Wow. Way to spoil the party, bro. Okay, this is gonna be a tricky one, but I, I kinda like where this is going. If we could get up there without a builder, but also without a digger, we kind of need that digger. Boop, 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 boop,
Huh. This is a tricky one. Okay, so maybe we don't dolly... Okay. So thinking about this a little bit more. We can build. That's two of our build. That's three of our builders. We don't need to dolly dimple here, though. So we can save a builder. If we time everything perfectly, we could potentially get a second lemming through here. With the cat trap. It require that will require a lot of precise timing, though. Oh, we know it won't. No, it won't, because we can actually glide at just the right time. Okay, so that could be possible. The glider would have to die. The glider would die to that. The regular lemming can go down here. And then, let's see... Getting past that last cat might be a little tricky, though. Okay, well, I have an idea. It goes a little something like this, so... I'm gonna block there and build here. I'm gonna build twice here to get up. Now, at some point, what we're going to do is we're going to send a lemming coming out of the hatch as a glider to follow. And we need to do it at such a point that this lemming turns around and digs, and they both go to the left, with preferably the glider going first. So we need to send the glider way earlier than that. So let's try that. That's a little bit better. Oh, also, we can stall him out by going... Yes, I like this. No, we need the glider to die. Yes, okay, so he bypasses the kitty. The other one does not. Rats, but that... Mm. Okay. So now we can build over the last cat trap. But, oh wait, no. They're all gonna go this way. Regardless. I forgot about that. Okay, that's tough. All right, let's use our walker. I forgot about that, actually. Oh, and he can't even get over the exit. What am I even talking about? Why did I think they were all going to go to the... Stupid Artie. Here's a question. This is something I'm genuinely curious about. If we build at the very edge and then stone... Okay, that's still going to leave a gap. So that's not going to work. Alright, well, I don't know what I was thinking. Answer, I wasn't. Okay. Hmm. Ugh. This is tough. I feel like I have the glider right. Using the glider to get over whatever you used to hold the crowd in. I think that's what you need to do. That just makes sense to me. Because I don't really see a whole lot of other uses for the glider. It almost, it almost seems, seems to hinder you more than anything. Like, you can't use a glider to turn around here. Hmm. I, it occurred to me... You could potentially use a stoner to turn a lemming around here and have them bash through. Okay. That's a... That's a... 
Yeah, so we're gonna walk to get them out. I just want to experiment with something. That makes them go up. That's a shame. Hmm. A single basher could let them out here. The problem is we can't get a single lemming up out of here without a builder. We would have to use a digger plus a basher or a fencer, and that only leaves us with one destructive skill left, and I don't think we can do that. Especially since you need the digger here. Like, there's literally no two ways about it. You absolutely need the digger. Wait. Unless you can use the, f the fencer plus the basher, which I think you could do, but that still wouldn't allow us to escape. You would need all three destructive skills. Okay. That would save a builder, though. Okay, so I gotta think about that. So, one builder there. Two, three. We would still have one builder left. We could use a builder to get over that. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to piece stuff together. We would presumably use the last builder to get over that cat. That wouldn't leave us with enough skills left, though. Oh, this, this is a tricky level for sure. Here's a question. Do we have to hold the lemmings back? The answer is almost certainly yes. But... We can only afford to kill five lemmings, and we're going to lose five real fast, so... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So we would need to hold the lemmings back somehow. This, the lack of climbers makes this very difficult. We can't just send a lemming up. It don't work. All right. You definitely need two builders to get across there. There's no no cheese in your way at, beyond that. At all. So two builders are wasted there. So we have two left. And we need a builder to get them out. Like, that's, that's a, a given. So we really only have one builder to use for the rest of this solution. The problem is, where is that builder going to be used? Hmm. 
Tricky, tricky, tricky. But this is the good kind of tricky. This is tricky like, man, I don't know what to do. Not the tricky of, I know exactly what to do, but the game's not letting me do it. Oh. That steel's also packed in tight. There's no getting around that steel. What is, would the glider be good for, if anything? I just don't know. It's this end part right here. Because if we put... If lemmings go to this side, we're going to have to save them from the cat trap, and we're going to have to bash through here. And I don't even know if we can bash through here. So maybe that's, that's what I'm going to just see. Can we bash through that at the end? Let's wait for more lemmings to go in here. We want <laughs> I want five lemmings to go this way. And that'll do. So I just want to know, can we actually bash... Okay, we can! We can bash through there. Well, I have a feeling that's what we have to do then. So if that's the case, we have all the four builders we need positioned. We need one here, we need two there, and we need one to get over the exit. Unless, unless there is a way to... If we stone and then walk, we can bash through all of this, potentially. Except then we would need to build to the exit. Hmm. There aren't any real ways to delay that. I'm... Hmm. Is there a good way to cluster a bunch of lemmings together? That's another... That's another good question. If we can get a bunch of lemmings clustered in a single tiny spot... Then we might be in business. Huh... I'm a... Hmm... Folks, I might have it. A, a, a terrible, awful thought just came to me. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build out. Then what we're gonna do... We're gonna put a blocker right there. And crank up that release rate. This will smoosh them all into one tiny little area. Which means, if we time this right... If we time it right, we can release them all, and they can all be going to the left here. I just need to time this properly. Oh yeah, we gotta go earlier than that. How about, like, as soon as the crowd merges? Actually, wait, I'm gonna just... That's basically perfect. I Actually, I want to give him a little bit more of a head start than that. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And the reason is, he needs to dig the hole in time. Nope. Okay, we need a we need more of a gap then.
If he dies, that's fine. And now what we're gonna do... We're gonna glide with one lemming. And then stone, and that'll turn them all around. They're all clustered together, and then only one of them will die to the cat trap. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that was so good! Oh, I, well, I actually really like that one. That strikes me as that's probably not intentional. But if it was... Genius, absolutely genius. I actually, if those if those extra skills were red herrings, oh man, that was so good. That was really tough. That was the good kind of tough though, because there were a couple of skills where you could be like, okay, I definitely need builders there. There's no two ways about it. But sussing out what the rest of the skills needed to be, that was a glorious level, absolutely magnificent. I'm not gonna say that made up for level seven. Level seven still was just. An absolutely bitter level start to finish, but I don't want to gripe about that for too long. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. The Legend Rank, well, it's got some really nice levels, but it's also got a couple of levels that I really don't like. But you know what? You're going to get levels that I don't like in any Lemmings pack, so like, don't, don't worry about it too much. But that last level, oh... Chef's Kiss. I love that one. Very tricky to suss out and kind of misleading, but oh, it was very satisfying to figure out. And I bet that's not the only solution. I bet you could find some other solutions to that one for sure. Mm, that was satisfying though. That was that it's I, I, I think that's a perfect way. We ended the last video on the worst note possible where I literally couldn't beat a sing couldn't beat that level and I spent an hour on it. But this is such a satisfying ending. So what a better way to end the video than right here. Hope you tune in next time, and I'm hoping that the legend levels will just continue to get better from here on out. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.